okay all right guys my name is Kayode Egugbemi so I talk about how you can use generative artificial intelligence tools to make your life easy and more productive so last week my last week too was ideogram so this is what we created using ideogram just by prompting the the, the website so the ai to created all these images so you can create all this for yourself you can learn how to use ideogram i think i shared that last week so here are some beautiful beautiful things we created so i see you bro <laughs> so yes we created all this with my tool for last week so this week tools is going to be um remini so remini is also an ai hub this is a pretty good wallpaper so this is for my pretty friend Kemi Adeyemi. she's producing she produced a single it will be releasing very soon so we created all this actually from ideogram this is not why we are here this week so this week we are talking about remini app yes remini app all right guys just go to your play store or your apple store and search for the app remini so you type remini so when it comes up then there are a lot of apps that do that does the same thing so you just look for the one that has the red icon remini in the middle with like two um, rectangles on each other then you select then you download then after downloading you wait then you launch the app so it depends on your this interface might not look like this if you are using an android but this is um, an ios device but it should pretty look like the same thing so the app is downloading right now all right all right let's wait now our app is downloaded so let's open the app loading loading it's pretty simple it's very straightforward yes here we are now let's get started click get started all right then what brings you to remini you can decide to skip this part skip us at the top right corner of your screen but you can decide to choose any of this it, i think it just gives more data to the software developers so there are a lot of things you can do on the app but that, this is not why we are here so you can just have to there's an x at the top left corner now we have it at the top right corner just click that s at the top right corner then you just come right here so straight up so we allow access to all photo allow access to all photos then you can decide not to allow it to send you notifications anyone is fine so what we're going to do now is to generate my photos we have three things you can do here we have enhanced but we want ai images so you select the gender you want so i chose male here so i go to my photo library to select the images i want to use please i chose random images here just for the sake of this tutorial but if you are doing yours select portrait pictures where your face clearly shows and all the expressions are showing and please avoid che checking uh, images that has two or three more people inside i only did this just to speed up so now i'm going to select 12 images for ios i think for android is just eight so i've selected my 12 so i'm going to just open up now i'm going to click continue I'll just continue so what it's going to do now is it's going to upload those images then it's going to ask me now now it's asking me to select the kind of model how do i want my images to look at the hand so i just select somebody a sample image so if i click someone with suit i should expect that all my images will come in suits so if i select a baby that means all my images come with a baby so now this is for man so i'm going to go ahead and choose the one that has a suit so you can choose any there are a lot here you can decide to choose any of your preference you don't don't worry you can always change it later you can choose somebody else after generating the first set if you don't like them so that is that here 
then i'll just pick yes so i'm going to choose this model and now this is going to pop up now this is trying to tell you to pay you can decide not to pay what you do is there's this x at the top left corner top left corner there's this fainted gray x at the top left corner just click that now i've done that so i decided to pick one for female as well so i've done that i've chosen a female so i'm going to select images of a female now so from my photo library now i'm going to do almost the same thing select images that are very close so don't mind when you're selecting your own image please make sure you select portrait pictures that are very bold and sharp so now it's loading the images i'm going to click continue so here we have i'm going to choose you can see that the models here are now females they're different from the first one that are males so i decided to do the two together so now just go down choose a model so i think i'll choose okay let me let me choose this yes this is what i'm choosing so it brings out this pop-up screen again so top left corner just click the s the x rather at the top left corner then you wait yes it's generating our images six minutes on the males one it told me um i think 12 minutes so i think on android it's just three minutes it depends so just wait you can try to do other things while you wait actually so now our images are here so the thing is it bring, brings out images for me the ones i like i would swipe the image to my right the ones i don't like i swipe the images to my left if I swipe the images to my left, it's going to delete that image. If I swipe it to my right, it's going to save it in my photo gallery. So that's what you're going to have. So now I don't like this picture. I'm going to swipe it to my left. Swiping it to my left. Yes. I don't like this actually. I'm swiping this to left. So it didn't generate something that I like. Maybe because I just chose random images. So it's difficult for the ai um to to actually pick points i'm deleting this this doesn't make any sense so i'm deleting all this but you get the point right so yours you can you can always then you can always come back tweak this is close but then i don't want it so i'm swiping left please be careful swipe left for the ones you don't want so it's asking me because i've deleted a lot of images so it's trying to see what's wrong so i just quit that left also so i don't like all the images i'm generating it again i'm choosing the same model again just to see if i'll get something better so let's see let's see let's see okay let me change my model i'm choosing this yes let me choose her as a new model remember i've uploaded my pictures before so i didn't need to select pictures again to just keep going about so you can keep changing the model so you can have um 12 pictures uploaded now this is good so i'm going to swipe right this is not bad i swipe right yes this is not bad as well i'm going to swipe oh yes um i did that sorry so swipe right no left i don't like this left yes you can see so this is cool i'm going to swipe right saved you can see photos saved in gallery so i think this is not bad saved yes so one more to go it generates six images at a go no this is bad so left I'm swiping left yes so you can see i can go ahead and change the model again and so that's that is just all so if you decide to go with the pro version so let me swipe up so you can see what is in the pro version you see there are two plans these are weekly plans so so this is one is um, about 4900 per week and this is 2005 per week so the one with the 5000 naira per week 4000 naira rather can do video and you can also use it on the desktop thank you guys so now these are some of the results as you can see i'm looking pretty good and handsome now i changed this to black and white afterwards in my normal phone app now if you notice all this one has no logo you can't find the remini logo there what i did was that i was smart enough to crop the pictures after downloading them to my image to my pic um, to my gallery rather while this ones you see 
I decided not to just to show you so you can just crop it if you don't want to you can crop the images so you don't show the watermark but if you pay then you have no watermark thank you guys I can't wait to see what you generate